<laughs> All right, guys, today we're taking a look at the Breda PX4 Storm Compact. Um, shooting this today, I was actually really surprised at how well it has been performing. I also got a chance to shoot the Gen 4 Glock 17 and stacking up compared to that triggers. If we're comparing triggers, I like this one a lot more than I like the Glock trigger. Sue me. All right, guys, now note, this is a compact pistol. I'm getting a really good grip on this pistol just without the mag in. And the mag doesn't have much of an extension or anything like that, but you really don't need it. Something else worth noting, when I started shooting this thing, look at first glance, it is really, really odd looking with the rounded corners and everything. You look at it at first glance, think, yeah, it's got kind of a high bore axis. How's this thing gonna shoot? Especially being a compact. With a nine millimeter and their crazy type of rolling barrel, which we'll get into a little bit later. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but it actually rolls. This thing's pretty, pretty quick. Your follow-up shots are faster than I expected. All right, guys, so right away, first impressions. This is the first time actually shooting this particular pistol. I'm actually impressed, and I thought it was kind of a goofy-looking design. I wasn't a big PX4 Storm fan. This is literally the first one I've ever shot. And I gotta say, I'm kind of liking it. Uh, it's definitely growing on me. I wasn't sure how it was going to shoot with the higher bore axis and the way it felt in my hand. But shooting it now, I'm seeing this gun is actually a contender. Really nice purchase on it. Really nice length of pull. It is a double single action pistol, which means in the decocked position, I can then pull the trigger. The gun will go off. It would then cycle, obviously. And it probably won't let me fire with a without a round in the chamber or the mag in. Now there's no mag safety, okay. So there you can then fire, it would then repeat the, the process and you would fire again. The trigger's actually pleasant. It's got a very short, let me uh, show you that. It'll go left-handed. Here's double action. Actually a relatively nice, you've got all constant tension on the double action pool. There's no take up at all. It's just right to business. And then in single action, we'll take a look at it. There's a little bit of spongy take up right there, and then you, you come to the end of that. Once you kind of learn that, you, you get to the end of that spongy take up, and the trigger just breaks. So it's really nice for those follow-up shots as you're trying to work on your cadence. So I think if you've got a lot of experience shooting, you know, Glocks excessively, and, and I mean, that's what you tend to carry for your EDC or, you know, just out at the range, this pistol might not be for you, but I don't know. It's starting to grow on me a lot, that's for sure. So one nice thing with the pistol, comes standard 15 round magazines, you get two of those, which is pretty nice, um, which I think is kind of standard with most pistols. So sorry for you California folks. That's pretty quick, I like it a lot. It's very rare to take a gun out of the box and just shoot like that. I mean, just, you pick it up and it just, it, it feels like you've been shooting it for six months. And honestly, that's how the PX4 Storm Compact has been feeling for me this whole time out at the range. Some other things to note on the pistol itself, let's just get into this real quick, get it out of the way. We've got an ambidextrous safety and ambidextrous slide release, which I thought was in kind of in these um, weird you know, places, but when I'm holding the pistol, it doesn't matter what side, it's out of the way. I really like that. I'm not gonna hit the slide release with my thumb. I like that, especially on a compact. So let's load it up, you know, shoot a couple more rounds and then head back to the table, tear this thing down and see what's going on inside. Because quite frankly, I have no idea. I don't know if I mentioned it, but today I am shooting 115 grain round nose uh, blazer ammunition out of it. So if you guys want to see any other ammo tests with this particular gun, please let me know and I will try to get some and run some through for your viewing pleasure. low on that one but i'll take it back to the table all right guys we are back from the range we're here at the table i've got a mess on the table today but i moved some stuff around so we could take a look at the px4 storm just a little bit closer i gotta say out at the range i mean like you can tell i was extremely impressed with the way it performed reliability we had no malfunctions whatsoever so that was impressive like i said I'm relatively new to this pistol in and of itself, and actually that was the first range session. So I'm not going to really tell you my opinion or talk about reliability all that much, you know, in this video. I want to get a lot more range time and come close to 500 to 1,000 rounds before I can even 
start to speculate or even give you an honest opinion. But initial impressions is basically what I'll give you, and I am impressed. I'm extremely happy with the pistol so far. So we'll get into a few of the features on the pistol, some of the stuff I might have forgotten, check the trigger pull and the weight, and uh, end it on that note. So let's just dive on into this. So obviously the pistol features uh, three dot sights, white three dot sights, which are really nice, really easy to pick up. Um, I really like the way the pistol pointed out at the range. I do not have a holster for it, so I wasn't drawing from holster, so I really can't tell you how it was you know, drawing from holster. But I gotta say from the low ready, it was pretty sick. Okay guys, so something I didn't mention out at the range, the pistol also features not only a safety, but a decocker. So you could potentially have the gun cocked and locked like this. We'll double check it for safety. We are clear. So what we can do is hit the decocker. Now the gun's safe. You can carry it this way. Note, with it in the decock safe position, you cannot fire the pistol. You have to switch it to fire to then fire a double action shot. After that, the gun obviously cycles, resets, and it is a single action shot. So that's pretty cool. Everything is ambidextrous on the pistol, which I really like. Um, I shot support hand, left and right handed, and it was extremely comfortable and everything, like I said, the gun did not feel foreign at all. Uh, everything just kind of felt right at home. Something else I didn't really note was when we're out the range, I wasn't filming myself goofing around with it, but when the magazine drops free, it does drop pretty quick and uh, pretty efficiently there. So that was one thing I liked. It we weren't running into it getting stuck or anything like that. So your, your mag exchanges were relatively quick. The pistol has a lanyard loop hidden away here on the bottom near the mag well. Check this out if I can get it. But it is hiding right there. So check that out. There's a lanyard loop if anybody is interested in knowing. That's pretty cool. So one last feature before we get into the trigger pull and weight of the pistol. This PX4 Storm, like all, has a reversible mag release. So let's say you're a left-handed shooter, you're one of those odd people. You can then switch it around to the left side so you can then drop the mag from the opposite side of the gun. Basically what we'll do is the magazine's out, the gun is safe, which we have safety checked it a couple times. I'm going to go ahead and drop the hammer, put it back in fire, and our two takedown levers here on the right and left side. I'm just going to grip on both sides, pull it down, and the slide actually just completely moved forward probably an eighth of an inch. So I'm assuming I can just slide all of this off. Yep, there we go. All right, guys, so look at this. This piece right here houses the guide rod recoil spring, and this block right here that helps the barrel rotate when it's being fired. So potentially going to sit like this and when it's fired it will rotate the barrel. So look at that a little more in depth. All you got to do is remove the guide rod and spring. We can get a close-up on this guy. You can see that pin if it focuses on top there. It wants to focus on the, the pistol of course. All right so you can see that right there. This all up in here and this guy right here is what's doing all the, the heavy lifting as the gun is being fired. That's what's rotating the barrel. So I think this is a really unique design. I think it's a really solid design. Um, the Yankee Marshall straight said that it's one of the best designs and it, it should be utilized in more pistols. I actually agree with him on that one. I do think this is actually a pretty impressive um, design. Like I said, it's my first time tearing into the pistol too. So I'm relatively new with everything, but pretty cool design. Okay, so basically this guy right here, as the barrel moves forward, just kind of guides everything. It's not doing any of the heavy lifting. Like I said, this steel block back here is what's doing all the heavy lifting and rotating the barrel. So that's pretty cool. Everything just kind of pops right out. Disassembly is super easy on this. But, and that just dropped right back in. And the guide rod should in theory just slide and lock right in place and that that is super simple it looks complicated it, it's really not and then should be able to in theory slide the uh the slide right on you don't even i mean that's about as easy as it gets um 
I didn't push over past anything. It just slid on, locked up, and I mean, everything's right back in business. Mag in there, safety check it. Actually, we'll take the mag back out. We don't need that in the way. Pull our pistol down. All right. We are just at five pounds on that brake. Come over the top here. Four and a half on that one. And one more for good measure. But four and a half, five pounds for what it is, it's definitely pretty nice. Um, five pounds again. So I'll take that empty weight on this guy with the scale in here. We are looking at one pound, 11.1 ounces. All right, guys, that'll about wrap it up for my overview and first impressions on the Breda PX4 Storm Compact. I'm extremely pleased with it. I'm actually impressed with it. Um, I was not expecting it to function and shoot the way it did. I've never had a problem with Beretta in the past. I've always enjoyed shooting their products, so I should have expected it. The pistol looks like a freaking potato, and that was my only concern was just looks, but I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Um, aesthetically, this is not as pleasing as some pistols out there. I, I do like the uh, finer, smaller lines and curves of the, the CZ line of pistols, so I really like that. Um, so this one wasn't top of my list for um, appearance. But in performance, I would definitely have to put this uh, way up there. Especially as a compact, shooting it the way I was out at the range. I was super happy with that. Um, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you get a chance to shoot one of these pistols, even if you, know, you don't own it and you know somebody, I would say take it up to the range and shoot 100 rounds through it. You are definitely going to enjoy it. That's all I can really say about that. It's a blast to shoot. So guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we will definitely see you on the next one. There's a lot, of, there's a lot more exciting stuff to come uh, here in the coming weeks. So see you on the next one.